Welcome to Improve Your AdWords Performance with Key Tips. My name's Sarah and I'm an account strategist here at Google. Today we're going to discuss why you should optimise your AdWords campaigns, how you should improve your campaign structure to successfully reach your goals, how to optimise your keywords to attract the right users to your products and services, how to make your ad texts more compelling and how to choose an appropriate landing page. At the end, you will find a brief overview of key tips by goals. You will be able to log into your account to start improving your account right away and test these tips. You'll also find some additional resources giving you more information about optimization. So, why should you optimize your AdWords account? Optimization is the process of modifying your ad campaigns and making tests to improve the quality and performance of your AdWords ads. Based on your advertising goals, that should be clearly defined. Optimization can involve organizing your account for maximum effectiveness and making changes to the structure of your campaigns, improvements to your keyword list to make it more relevant, changes to keyword settings or to your bids, creating appealing and targeted ad text variations as well as selecting the most relevant landing pages. Ultimately, these strategic changes are aimed at increasing your conversions, which are the actions that you wish a user to complete on your website. A conversion can be a purchase, a sign-up to a newsletter, a page view or a lead. In other words, optimization allows you to be in control of your daily budgets, costs, traffic and manage them strategically. Be targeted by driving relevant traffic to your website and attracting the right users. Be creative. You can make changes and test innovative and different messages, add texts, use different keywords to make your products and services stand out more. And finally, be successful. Optimizing in the long term means that your advertising efforts are more likely to be successful and that you can reach your goals, be it improve your return on investment, increase traffic or your visibility. So how should you structure your account for success? A good structure has a positive impact on the overall performance of your account, quality score, click-through rate, your minimum bids and your return on investment. A well-structured campaign means that your ads could get more clicks for less. Quality score measures how relevant your keyword is to your ad text and to a user's search query. Quality score is determined by different factors such as keyword relevancy, click-through rate, relevance of ad text and landing page, historical account performance and various other factors. So always remember to keep a tight link between keyword, ad text and landing page. A good structure will also make account management and reporting easier. Deciding whether to create new campaigns or to use new ad groups within an existing campaign can greatly change your account structure. Create a new campaign to set a new daily budget, choose language and location targeting options, edit settings like creating search or content only campaigns, or to set specific start or end dates like for a Christmas campaign that you want to end on 25th of December. Create a new ad group to group keywords together according to theme and match them to a corresponding ad text. You can often split existing ad groups into more precise ad groups to group subcategories of products. For example, an ad group for shoes with keywords such as sandals, tennis shoes, boots and more could be divided but still belong to the same shoe campaign. You can also create an ad group to set different CPCs for a particular group of keywords. Mirroring your website structure is an effective way to give a good structure to your account. They both should be organised according to your categories of products and services. Let's look at an example of an online home retailer, superkitchen.com. Imagine the website is structured into three sections, bathroom, kitchen and lighting products. The AdWords account advertising for this website should also be organised the same way with three campaigns for each section, campaign bathroom, campaign kitchen and campaign lighting. Each campaign is divided into specific ad groups for products belonging to each section. The kitchen campaign is divided into the following ad groups. Cookers, dishwashers, freezers, fridges, kitchen sinks, tableware and toasters. 
In the Cooker's Ad Group, a list of targeted keywords cover the different variations of the cooker product, such as buy cookers or electric cookers. In addition, in the Cooker's Ad Group, keywords are linked to a specific ad text for cookers. The appropriate landing page should also direct the user to Super Kitchen's range of cookers. In the next five slides, you'll find campaign structures in retail, travel, finance for seasonality, and brands. You can skip through these examples and look at the ones you're interested in. Here we have an example of a retail client using flowers. Now we have an example for travel, hotels. For financial services, we have insurance as the example. And now a seasonal example, New Year's and Valentine's Day. Lastly, for a brand campaign. This brings us to keyword management and optimization. Let's look at how to choose the right keywords to attract the right customers. Are your keywords incomplete? Too generic? Too specific? Not targeted to the right users? Not filtered? Do they have high minimum bids? Optimising your keywords aims at increasing the quality and performance of your keywords and respond to these different situations. Optimising your keywords allows you to create and expand. You can build new campaigns and ad groups to cover your range of products and services and develop your keyword list. Refine your list. Without necessarily expanding to new products and services, there's always a way you can fine-tune your list to improve its quality. Manage traffic. Optimise to get the right audience by using different keyword match type options. Increase click-through rate and improve your return on investment thanks to a list of negative keywords. Let's now see these four points in more detail. So how do you build and expand your list of keywords? To help you, you can use different tools. Let's have a look at the keyword tool and the search-based keyword tool. The keyword tool is a powerful tool to help you find and refine your keywords. You can access this tool by clicking on the Opportunities tab and then by selecting Keyword Tool. It can suggest variations that you may not have considered, like singulars and plurals, synonyms, keyword combinations, diacritics or accents. You can also get information about advertiser competition, estimated average CPCs, and global and local monthly search volume. The search-based keyword tool generates keyword and landing page ideas highly relevant and specific to your website. In doing so, the tool helps you identify additional advertising opportunities that aren't currently being used in your AdWords ad campaigns. Based on your URLs, the search-based keyword tool displays a list of relevant user queries that have occurred on google.com.au and on other Google search properties such as google.co.uk and google.com. With some frequency over the past year, these suggestions can be found under the Keywords tab in the New Keywords Related to Site section. It's very important to refine your keyword list to improve the quality. The more complete it is, the higher your quality score will be. This will have a positive impact on your minimum bids. Refining means you should make sure you've included all variations of your keywords, singulars and plurals, synonyms, keyword combinations, diacritics or accents, which change the pronunciations of words, such as here, for example. Having all the variations in your keyword list means you're more likely to match precisely what the user typed, thus making it more relevant. Remember, the Keyword Tool can help to refine your list extensively. Try adding specific terms also, as user queries can be very specific. Depending on your industry, you should include specific terms, which can go from specific references in tech, for instance, or hotel names in the travel sector. Although they may have less traffic, these targeted keywords are more likely to result in sales, leads or inquiries for you. Although it can vary depending on the business you're advertising, running on very general keywords will often result in a low click-through rate and quality score. You want to choose a keyword that isn't too general or too specific. You're going for something that's just right. You can see a few examples here of keywords that are just right. It's also worth pointing out why we wouldn't suggest you run on very general keywords. If you have the keyword holiday here, 
It means your ad will be eligible to show when users search on everything from Billy Holiday album to holiday insurance to holiday homes to holiday reviews. Unless your business covers all of these, you'd be better off running on slightly more specific keywords. So, moving on. Don't use a keyword twice in your account. If this is the case, it's a sign that your account structure can be improved. Adding the same keyword in different ad groups will make your keywords compete with each other and increase your bids. So, refining your keyword list means deleting duplicate keywords. Finally, a couple more things to keep in mind about keywords. Punctuation, except the ampersand and accent marks, are ignored and treated as spaces, so don't need to be included. Invalid symbols will create an error message if you include them in keywords and try to add them to your account. Keywords are not case sensitive, so flights to New York City and flights to New York City with capitals are the same keyword. With our keyword matching options, you can effectively target your audience and refine the traffic or clicks that your ads are receiving by making changes to the match types. You can target all kinds of audiences. You cast a wide net for greatest coverage using the broad match. Smaller target groups can be targeted using phrase match or exact match for a very niche target audience. Broad match will show for variations of your keywords. Phrase match will show for search queries that match your keyword in the right word order, but also with terms before or after your keyword. Exact match will only show your ad when the user types exactly your keyword in the same word order. We recommend you to build an exhaustive list of negative keywords to exclude irrelevant search queries from triggering your ads. You can also use the keyword tool to find negative keywords. Let's look at these a bit more closely. Negative keywords are an effective way of filtering traffic to ensure that your ads only appear for relevant searches. By filtering out those unwanted impressions, negative keywords can help you reach the most appropriate prospects, reduce your costs, and increase your return on investment. You can use them for all your keywords, but we would definitely recommend using negative keywords if you have very general keywords. Try to be as exhaustive as possible without including terms that overlap with your keyword list, as this would prevent your ad from showing. The keyword tool can help you to find possible negative keywords. Remember that negatives are never expanded, so you should be sure to include all the synonyms of your negative keyword. Here are some examples of negative variations. Your website advertises hotels, but not bed and breakfasts. You should exclude the full list B&B, &B, B space and space B, B and the word space B. Bed and breakfast, bed and breakfast with the and spelt out. If you want to filter out clicks from users looking for a free service, exclude free, gratis, no expense, no cost. If you were a real estate agent selling homes, you may want to exclude clicks from users looking to rent homes. In this case, you could exclude rent, rental, rentals. Keyword matching options can also be used for negative keywords to control how you filter unwanted clicks. Adding used books as a negative exact match, for example, will only stop your ad from showing if a user searches for used books exactly, in that word order and with no words before or after. A seller of online photo albums is looking at a list of keywords from the keyword tool and would like to add some keywords and negative keywords. Which of the four keywords should he add? Which should he exclude? Add photo album, online photo album, and buy photo album. Exclude free photo album. A real estate agent who is focused on selling apartments wishes to include some keywords but also add some negative keywords. Find in this list some negative suggestions. Add apartment Sydney and apartment Sydney for sale. Exclude hotel, hotels, rent, rental, rentals, renting. Now we come to ad text optimization. Your ad text is the first impression that you make on potential users. So getting your ad text right is an important step in optimising your AdWords campaigns. 
Ads play a crucial role in determining the success of your AdWords advertising. A potential customer's decision to visit your website is based solely on your ad and how it relates to what the customer is doing on the web at that moment. When a potential customer sees your ad, it's important to be relevant. If your ad doesn't closely relate to the search query that the user has entered, even if your website has got the products that this user is looking for, the user will not click on your ad. Be informative and specific. Put precise information in your ad text. The buying customer knows exactly what he wants, so be specific. Be different. Your ad is one among others, so it's important to differentiate yourself with a different offer. Be attractive. Writing compelling ads with an attractive offer will attract the user's attention. Writing compelling ads and attracting the right users will have a positive impact on your click-through rate and your sales. Work on your message. Write a compelling headline. An ad's headline is usually the first thing a user sees. Because it appears as a link in blue underlined text, your headline is an important piece of your ad to get right. Make sure to adapt your ad texts by using the keywords that will trigger the ad in the ad itself. Ask yourself, what are the specific or technical details about the product or service we provide? You can include this in your keywords and ad text. If you find that a keyword has performed well for you, you should try to include it in your ad text. You should also include unique selling points in your ad text to differentiate your ads from the competition. Some unique selling points are price and special offers, delivery options, or the option to order online. Ask yourself, why would someone choose my business over one of my competitors? Use calls to action such as buy now, sign up today, or order easily online to encourage users to take the action you value most once they reach your landing page. Ask yourself, after someone clicks on my AdWords ad and comes through to my website, what is it I want them to do next? It's a good idea to create more than one ad text for each ad group to test different terminology or landing pages. Remember that if you have only one ad text, test new variations in parallel to your existing ad text so that your ad text can still show up while your other variations have been approved and start to rotate. Here are some other tips. Intercapitalize the ad text to improve its appearance. Appropriate capitalization can make your ad text look more professional and stand out. Finally, remember to take advantage of your display URL to catch a user's eye. In this ad text, what of the three options could you try to make the ad text stand out more? Answer, all. The second ad text is more specific, looks more professional, has unique selling points and call to action. The landing page that your AdWords ad leads to is an important factor. Make sure that the destination URL you use for each ad directs users to the most relevant page within your website. Ideally, that web page will be dedicated to the specific product or service that is highlighted in your ad. Some things to think about when choosing an appropriate landing page are do you want all traffic to lead to the home page or are there specific pages that correspond to the specific products you're advertising? You might want to consider using multiple ad texts variations within the same ad group to test different landing pages. If your ad group is generic, you should test a more generic page. If the text is specific to a product on your website and you can direct the user to that page, select this landing page. Remember, it's often easier for a user to get from a specific landing page to a more general one than it is to get from your home page to the specific product page of your website. For example, if a user is searching for a black suit, he'll be more likely to buy if he's directed to the landing page with black suits instead of searching the whole website. Quiz. A user searches on the keyword golf umbrella and sees a compelling ad text on this topic. Which of the two landing pages would be more appropriate and likely to lead to a purchase? The one on the left or the one on the right? Answer. 
the one on the right. Let's have a quick look at some optimization tips depending on your goals. Here are a few tips by advertising goals. You'll find a number of resources on the next page where you can learn more about optimization by goal. Remember that the tips we've discussed on structure, keywords, ad texts, and landing pages apply to all situations. Writing a compelling ad is independent of any goal. In some cases, you may want to use certain tips to a greater extent. If your goal is traffic, visibility, or branding, try to cover your range full of product, adding new ad groups and keywords for new products. Create ad groups for your different brands with relevant keywords and include brand terms in your ad texts so that it can become known to users. Use more generic terms to get more traffic and use broad match. You can use negative keywords, but depending on how much traffic and visibility you wish to get, you may want to use less negative keywords. If your goal is to increase sales and leads, Try to develop keywords that perform well and that are very targeted. If you find that keywords have led to conversions, a purchase, sign up to a newsletter, etc., develop these keywords to maximise these conversions. The more specific you are, the more likely you'll attract a potential buyer. A targeted ad text with buying call to actions and unique selling points are also important as well as appropriate landing pages. Finally, you should create an exhaustive list of negative keywords. To increase your CTR, you should try adding more negative keywords to filter out irrelevant traffic and impressions. Make your ads even more compelling to increase clicks and be more specific. If you want to increase your position, you should try to work on the quality of your ads, keywords, landing pages. A better quality score will increase your position without you paying more. You can also adapt your bids to increase your position. At this point, we've given you a comprehensive overview of the top tips and tricks our very own Google AdWords specialists use every day across industries. Now it's your turn. Use this checklist to start improving your performance now.